We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. You can follow us on our YouTube channel at YouTube slash Diet Missions for our previous broadcast. God bless you. Thank you for joining us and welcome on board. Glory to Jesus. Remains Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 30. Our team scripture remains Isaiah 30 verse 21. 30, 21 Isaiah. This is the way walk here praise god i like the the living bible paraphrase where he puts it and if you leave god's path and go astray you will hear a voice behind you say that way you're going is wrong this is where you're going to walk in here may god guide you this month to the right place to meet with the right people for the right purpose in the name of Jesus glory to Jesus all right last week we saw a topic being tender-hearted and um, being mean bad-tempered and angry quarreling Harsh words and dislike of others should have no place in our lives. Instead, be kind to each other, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God and um, so on and so forth. Glory to Jesus. But in Him, you will find forgiveness. Praise God. So I take it again. Ephesians 4, 30, excuse me, we saw that being tender-hearted is one or an individual that is kind, easily moved to love, pity, or sorrow. Good. Praise God. So like I said, it's being kind is being compassionate, is being impressionable, is being soft hearted, sympathetic, is being good hearted. Today we are looking at the part two what it means to be tender hearted. Hebrews 13, verse 2 and 3, from the Living Bible paraphrased. Hebrews 13 verse 2 it says don't forget to be kind Hebrews 13 2 and 3 don't forget to be kind to strangers for some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing their pain is your pain you feel their feelings to say we have not an eye priest that cannot be touched by the feeling of our infirmities so a tender-hearted individual is one that feels the pain of others you see and now this word to all of you you should be like one big happy family first peter 3 8 and now this word to you all to all of you, you should be like one, one big happy family full of sympathy toward each other, loving one another with tender hearts and humble minds. Um, First Peter again, one verse twenty-two. 
Now you can have now you can have real love for everyone because your souls have been cleansed from selfishness and hatred when you trusted Christ to save you. So see to tender hearted is to love wholeheartedly. Number one, what it means to be tender hearted is to have a unified goal. Praise God. Unified goals, habit, that we do really love each other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Like I said, what it means to have unified goals is to align with the will of God. If, like I said, we are to align with the will of God. Ephesians 4.16 has this the same. Instead, we will lovingly follow the truth at all times, speaking truly all. Help us that even though we may see differently, we may look differently and act differently, but we can all come together. According to Ephesians 4, 16, he said, Instead, we will lovingly follow the truth. We may look at things differently. We may act differently. But we can all come together to fulfill God's will by working together to build up each other in love. That's what it means to have a unified goal. Number two, what it means to be tender-hearted. Tender-heartedness is deep involvement feelings, not surface level feelings. Glory to Jesus. It is what deep in come and pass. Praise the Lord. I take it again. Tender-heartedness is deep involvement feeling, not surface level feelings. It is a commitment that is deep-rooted in our very spirits and it lingers. It is not just a sudden surge of sympathy that come and pass. We bring about our family's transformation, the business world, our education, our institutional, um, educational institutions, our relationships with each other. Cause that genuine concerned love will be shared amongst us. Let the rejected become projected as we understand them with each other in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, as you help us to live kindly and in brotherly love with ourselves, May your influence be spread abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ, those that are yet to be connected to you, that do not have relationship with you, we ask the unconditional love be from every form of unrighteousness. Make me your child. I surrender to you today. Thank you for accepting me and making me your child. To the glory and praise of your name, in Jesus' precious name, amen. If you have just prayed that prayer, congratulations. 